So for this nomad run, I've gone for the occupation of mechanic. In terms of negative traits, I've gone for obese, alcoholic, slow learner, smoker, sentimental, which means we're gonna spawn in with an item that we can't afford to lose, and we're a slow learner. In terms of the positive traits, we are a runner, we're spawning in with the RV, we're sneaky, we're swift, we have second wind, run wavering, we're a pack mule, and we're an outdoorsman. If you're interested in what mods I use in my videos, do stick around to the end, and I'll show you the entire mod list there. Say hello to this video's protagonist, Jimbo Johnson, and his trusty RV, Michael Jackson. Don't ask why I called it that, I have no clue. <laughs> this is the inside of Michael, and as you can see, it's a pretty run of the mill RV. Our aim with Jimbo is to survive for an entire 100 days. How far can we actually survive? I have no clue. I've tried to film this multiple times and didn't even make it a week in. I'm making this my last attempt. <laughs> if you are new around here and you want to see more Project Zomboy challenges, whilst Jimbo over here learns to cook, why don't you consider hitting the subscribe button down below? If you enjoy Project Zomboy challenges, we do a lot of them on this channel, just very poorly, keep that in mind. Uh, we've had a lot of great support on this channel recently and I'm really loving seeing where this channel is going. And as we've done that, Jimbo has just hit level one in cooking. Let this man cook. Now Jimbo is a simple man. Jimbo finds himself alone in his trusty RV Michael on this lone road and in fact has no clue where he is going whatsoever. Our mission with Jimbo is to survive for 100 days. Can he do that? I'm really hoping so, otherwise the title of this video is going to look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, oh, we have found some Louisville maps. Let's start reading these, just because once we've read them, we can actually understand a little bit more about Louisville. Now, we are some distance away from Louisville, but if we were to visit, we do know a good chunk of the area now. Jimbo's sentimental item for this video are his grandma's earrings, who he was very close to, and in fact, she owned this RV just before him, so he will wear these earrings with pride. Right, I think Jimbo's first plan is to head south. I would uh, like to go to Rosewood just to get a few of the early essentials that we need. As you can see, we only have a good 38,000 miles on the clock of this RV. However, the engine, it really isn't in the best of conditions. Right, there's some post boxes here. I think we check out what uh, we have up here. I don't know why he's coughing already. Okay, there are a couple of little houses around here. I say we check these out quickly. Okay, there is no TV in here, so let's just quickly grab our supplies. Then maybe I'll go and catch the carpentry show. Ooh, a beer and an eggplant. What a meal. We've already found a can opener as well that's good news and a barbecue fork a little bit of a weird weapon but we'll take that right i think we'll move uh, michael jackson or mj for short up the road a little bit come on jimbo jimbo for fuck's sake come on <laughs> right whilst we wait for the carpentry show let's have a little look around here see if there's anything useful now i do have spawn loot so i'm extremely rare so this might be quite difficult to get supplies early on oh we do have some company here and we do have a baseball bat as well nice right let's take care of you Oh, right, the carpentry show's starting. Let's just sit down and enjoy this. God, Jimbo is uh, dressed a little bit like a school shooter. I think whilst we enjoy the show, we're gonna eat this eggplant whilst it's fresh. Okay, we have managed to hit carpentry level one. Ooh, some more cigarettes. We are a smoker, so we'll take that. Well, if you ask me, I think that was a pretty useful stop. We've uh, got everything we need out of that. Okay, this should be the turn into Rosewood. Now, there is a ambulance there. Hopefully, that'll have a nice amount of medical supplies available. There is a tow truck as well. Considering the shape of this car, we might end up needing that. All right, bring it on. Oh, okay, it turns out a barbecue fork is not the best weapon. I kind of want to save the baseball bat for now. Um, I'm not too eager to use it straight away. Okay, I don't think the barbecue fork is really working, so we are going to switch to the baseball bat. Okay, as soon as we kill one, loads more join. I'm so sorry, Michael, but we're going to have to use you for this. Please forgive me, Michael. Right, that's enough. We can take the rest on. Leave Michael alone. Yes, the hand hatchet. Let's take this. Add it to our belt. Oh, below that. Ooh, you have some shrooms on you. We'll take those. It wouldn't be one of my videos without some drugs, eh? Okay, we don't have a boot on here. I think I am going to unequip the trench coat for that, just because I feel like uh, we <laughs> are just going to end up sweating way too much and then getting very ill. Right, should we check out some of these local vehicles then? Okay, we have got a trauma bag with a bandage in it. We can take that. Better than having no bag whatsoever. Ooh, another Louisville map. We'll take that and a post-apocalyptic night magazine. And a canteen with pens. Lovely. All this stuff I love to see. Now, I do want to check out that tow truck, because considering the damage we just put Michael through, 
we may end up having to resort to using that. Okay, we can get in it. Ooh, another Louisville map. Mechanics Volume 2 and a hunting knife. Lovely. Uh, there is a used tissue as well, but we'll uh, we'll leave that. Oh, we can hotwire as well. Okay, I'm struggling to hotwire this, so I'm presuming that it's out of fuel. Oh, wait, no, tell a lie. Lovely. We also now have a tow truck. I think we'll use this as our vehicle for moving around Rosewood for now. And we'll, uh, we'll let Michael rest. I think we'll grab this cheese sandwich and take it upstairs with us. Ooh, some more books to read. Ooh, some more magazines to read. Ooh, and some acid. Even better. Exposure survival tape as well. Oh my god, this is a great start. Ooh, a Marlboro poster, some cigarettes, and a Camel Light poster. I will take all of that with me. And I think, you know what? Exposure survival's on in half an hour. Let's go upstairs and do a little bit of light reading. Right, let's make a start on these Louisville maps first. Okay, we do now have an understanding of the majority of Louisville. Actually, no, to be fair, the, the more sort of busier part here we don't quite know yet. Oh, here we go. What are you going to teach us today, Dean? I think whilst uh, we are watching Dean, we are going to quickly power through all of the magazines that we picked. Up. Okay, Dean's teaching us how to fish. Now, some time ago, I put a poll up on my channel where I asked people to debate whether multi-hit was something to be included or not. I think, for this run, you can have a go at me as much as you want, but I'm going to bring back multi-hit. Alright, let's eat this cheese sandwich from earlier. I think I might refrain from looting this place properly for now, and we'll come back later and take its supplies. For now, it probably makes sense to keep this as a good resting point. We have found a gas mask. I will wear this just to try and reduce our corpse sickness around the zombies. Alright, let's check out the back room. Oh, there is a Hotties magazine. We'll definitely take that. Jimbo's a little bit of a pervert. Oh, Rosewood map. We'll read this now, because now we at least know the area that we're staying in. And a March Ridge map as well. Brilliant. Okay, we are really starting to piece together our surroundings now. That's very useful. Now, as you can see, we are getting a little bit anxious. So to uh, relieve our stress, I'm going to have one of our 60 cigarettes. I'm sure nothing can go wrong doing it this close to a gas pump. Given that we've given the RV a name of Michael Jackson, I feel like it's only appropriate that we give our tow truck a name as well. How about Janet Jackson? That'll do. God, I'm so creative, I know. Right, let's fill up Janet. Right, let's pop over next door, Janet. Okay, there is a lot of zombies around here. Let's, uh, I'm sorry, Janet, but I think we're gonna have to use you to take care of them. There is no chance I'm picking a fight with all of you just now. No, Janet's window broke. I'm sorry, Janet. You deserve better than this. All right, now let me loot your corpses. Oh, a pouch. We'll take this. All right, let's go check this out. Oh, vehicle schematics. I'll take that. Spare engine parts. We're definitely going to need these. I think Michael needs a little TLC, if I'm honest. Oh, some Oxy. We'll take that. If you haven't seen already, I did actually do a run where I tried to survive as a drug addict with zero stats. If you are interested, a link should be popping up above you now, and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, two energy drinks. I love those. Hello, Janet. I'm getting a little bit tired. Let's go back to Michael. All right, as we are a bit peckish, I think I'm going to eat this small chocolate egg, uh, some gummy bears, and some crisps for dinner. I think before bed tonight, I'm going to sit on the ground and read through this vehicle schematics book. All right, it is 11 o'clock at night, so I think it's time that we went to bed. Good morning, Jimbo. We are awake at 20 past four, or in other words, 4.20. Uh, let's eat this bowl of grape jello for breakfast. Now, this isn't the most exciting way to start things off, but I think I want to go straight to the bookstore, so I'm going to make my way there now. Right, there we are, the bookstore. I think first and foremost, oops, let's try not to crash the car immediately. Let's just take out these local zombies. Right, is that all of them? I believe that's at least most of them, so uh, let's go into the bookstore. We can take on any stragglers with our baseball bat. Right, bookstore time. We are just going to take absolutely everything that we can. Okay, that seems to be all of the basics that we need. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Well, that is the bookstore down, and it's still only 7 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm thinking... Oh, actually, I was going to go somewhere else, but I'm going to go to the medical store first. I feel like this is a sensible place to go. Hello, can I make an appointment, please? You there. Why are you walking away from me? How dare you ignore me? Come here, you bastard. Right, let's just get everything. Oh my god, why is there armor in the medical place? I mean, I'm not going to complain, I'm just going to wear it all. Oh, these are some very funky looking trousers. Oh, a dance magazine. I mean, that's main priority throughout the apocalypse, so we'll learn to dance. Oh, prosthetics. I feel like we're probably going to end up losing an arm at some point, so we'll take that. Oh, drug pipe. Lovely. That is the best kind of medicine. Okay, we have found a lot of very useful supplies. Oh, whatever this jacket is, I'll wear it. And a breathing system. Does that actually make 
a difference. Okay, it just kind of glitches through our back. God, I feel like I'm just speed running through Rosewood at this point. Oh, Janet's uh, engine's uh, a little bit worse for wear now. Right, the police station next. We'll use the last of Janet's energy to take them out. Okay, I think we can handle the rest ourselves. So let's go park Janet up here. Now, let's check out these cars first, maybe. Hello, chef. Nothing really to shout about with these, so we'll just leave them, I guess. Now, our baseball bat is on the verge of breaking, so let's see how many zombies we can kill with it before it goes. Ooh, stalker boots. I'll wear those. I'll take the stalker's cloak as well. I'll wear your gloves, your jacket, and your trousers. You know what? We'll drink your beer as well. Lovely. I feel like we're going to be changing outfits a lot very early on. Ooh, hold on. This fine gentleman had some Xanax. I will happily take that. Let's take your key. Ooh, some cocaine. I'll take that. I wonder if that was for personal use or if it was uh, confiscated. There's some heroin here as well. Something tells me that the uh, police may have been using these themselves. Oh, fuck. Hello. All right, come on then. I'll give you some help. Oh, you're just out of reach. Come on. I'm going to hit your toes. Seriously? Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Ooh, we are getting a bit tired. We need to be careful. Right, as we are getting a tiny bit tired, I think now is the perfect time to have one of these energy drinks. Come on, get it down, you son. Oh fuck. Ooh, where this bulletproof vest? I can hear multiple zombies still. Now, where are you all coming from? I have no clue how the baseball bat is still holding together, by the way. Ooh, some crack. Let me take that. Right, before we go and check out the armor room, let's go check out the changing rooms. Ooh, who are you? Eh, uh, we don't really need any of your stuff. I guess we'll leave that. In fact, actually, tell a lie, I will take your ammo pouches. Ooh, a helmet. I'll wear this. A police bag. Okay, this is much better than the one we've got. Ooh, a sheriff patrol vest. I'll wear that. Oh my god, we just keep finding more. Right, let's go check out the other changing room quick as well. Some more crack. See, this is in one of their uh, changing rooms, so they definitely have their own personal supply. I think we'll take this nightstick as I new weapon now. It's probably best that we drop the baseball bat considering it's about to break. Ooh, some more cocaine. Lovely stuff. Some shoulder pads as well and some even better trousers than the ones we just got. Ooh, a whole cocaine brick. Don't mind if I do. Right, okay. I think armor-wise that's as good as we're gonna get. So let's go and raid the weapon store a bit. Oh, hello. Ooh, you do have a shotgun on you now. Let me check the compartments here first. Okay, so there are no other shotgun, so I guess we are going to take the shotgun off this zombie. We might have to leave the 308 rounds for now. I will take the SWAT gun here, and we'll take the rounds as well. Take the MREs. Uh, shotgun shells can come with us. Okay, we're on edge and we're overly encumbered now, so let's be quick. Let's have a quick cigarette, and then we head back to uh, Janet. So we can go back to our resting spot. Just realised we haven't actually slept inside of Michael yet. Phrasing, I know. Ooh, some zombies have followed us. Let's uh, hope Janet's got a little bit more juice in her to take them on. All right, and we are out of here. Oh, shit. Okay, that's the end of Janet. She is now flipped on her side. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's more down there. Oh, we are heavily encumbered, so we can't really take him on right now. All right, just run to the driver's side of Michael, and we're going to have to run them over. Oh, right, come on, Michael. Let's kill them all. Me and you, buddy. Oh, my God, please, please. Where have you all come from? Oh, Michael, I'm so sorry. I don't know why we've got blue splatters of blood on the car. Oh, my God, Michael, I'm so sorry to put you through this. Right, is that us finally done? Yes? Can I now stop? Jesus Christ, what have I done to you, Michael? Okay, there's apparently still zombies after me, so I can't stop here. Don't tell me it was this zombie here. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's more. I'm going to be missing the next Life and Living show. I'm not happy about this. This should be fine now. Oh, <laughs> come on. Does it mean these ones? No, Michael, don't cut out on me. No, shit, I didn't mean to hit the horn. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, Michael, we're just getting out of here for now. Let's go find a spot for us to rest. Oh my God, I've absolutely destroyed Michael. I'm so sorry. What have I done to you? I just need a quiet and safe place to stop. Oh my God, I just can't get a break. Okay, surely this is far enough away now. Yes, oh my God, right. I can finally start unpacking some of these weapons that we picked up. All right, I'm just gonna put all the weapons that we don't need right now and like all the armor and cloaks and everything 
in here. You know what? We can stick all the spare engine parts in there as well. Jimbo, mate, just sit on the ground. We need a breather. We're going to sit down and we are just going to read. So I'm going to spam through all of the magazines that I've currently got on me. Well, we've just powered away through all of these magazines. So I think I'm going to sit down and get us to read one of our skill books. Uh, I think Fishing Volume 1 would be a good one to start with. We're having such a busy day, I think we'll uh, relax now. We'll take some shrooms and we'll have a quick read of our Hotties magazine. We've earned it. Uh, we are getting quite hungry, so I think we're going to have to have this strawberry drink mix for now. Uh, I'm starting to regret not looting some food earlier. Now, let's open up our cocaine brick. I think we're just going to lay out all of our drugs on the table here. There we go. We've got all of our lovely drugs laid out now, and we do have quite a lot of them. Now, it, oh god, it's late. Let's go to bed. We managed to sleep until 9.30 today, my word. Now, as we are so hungry, we're going to uh, have to dig into that MRE that we've got. There we go. Let's eat half the MRE for now. We'll hold on to the other half. Uh, we don't really have a lot of tools on us, but we are going to quickly go and check out uh, MJ and just see if we can do a little bit of work on his engine. Oh god, the hood really needs replacing. Oh god, okay, we're not quite good enough mechanic skill to repair the engine. Right, we really need to improve our mechanic skills. I think we are just going to quickly train them uh, just so we can keep improving. What level of mechanic are we? Uh, we are only mechanics level 3. Okay, we are going to have to really get a move on with this. Okay, our level is going up very quickly. Oh, we have just removed one of the windows from the car. Are we not going to uh, reattach that, Jimbo? You know, for our own safety? Hell yeah, we're up to mechanics level four already. You know what? As we're an alcoholic and we keep getting irritated, I think we're going to practice our meditation skills as well. Okay, can we get carpentry level two out of this? Okay, that is carpentry level two. Right, I think we have done enough resting. It is time that we head back to Rosewood. Oh, our battery's not in the best condition. Right, back to the petrol station we go. Hello, Janet. How are you? today oh shit uh i'm so sorry michael oh god i hope he's okay uh something tells me michael might end up being uh not the only rv we have this run no don't be getting exerted now shit God, I am getting very sweaty again. I need to uh, take off this armor. No, we're getting exerted. Uh, where's the cocaine? Right, let's have a bag of cocaine. Whilst we're at it, we really need to unequip some of these items. Right, we're gonna fight you naked now. Okay, that somehow has made us a lot faster. Come on, come on, let's round you all up. I don't know how we've done it, but this man in his animal print underwear has actually just survived. I think as cool as it is having all the armor that we had, it's just too hot this time of year for us to wear it. So we're probably going to have to go without, which means I am either going to have to run around half naked or find some lighter clothes for us to use. Right, this is going to have to be our little home for now. Just grab whatever food we can. Let's see, yeah, chocolate and crisps, whatever. Head upstairs and let's go watch Dean and the Exposure Survival Show. We, uh... We need to relax. There we go. What are you going to teach us today, Dean? Oh, Dean's teaching me how to fish. How kind of you, Dean. That does put us up to fishing level two. Well, thank you for that, Dean. Very kind. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a wash. I'm uh, not in the best of conditions right now. Right. We're a bit on edge as well, so I think we've earned a cigarette. Right. I feel like it's only uh, sensible if we go and check on Michael. I feel like he's uh, been through the war today. God, that is a lot of zombies that we've killed so far. Oh, poor Michael. I feel so bad. I mean, it looks like there is another zombie we might have to take care of if they come back over. Oh, Oh no. Um, okay, it looks like we aren't going to be driving Michael for a short while. I need to take care of the straggling zombie if I actually want to get inside of uh, Michael. Again, phrasing. Hello old pal, how are you? God, what a lovely little home we had here. It's a shame it seems to be coming to an end. I, uh, unless we can find all the parts we need. So I'm going to grab our stealth book, our metal working book, weapons book, guns book, foraging and dancing books. And until we're tired, we're just going to sit inside of Michael and read all of them. Okay, I am saving us some uh, light reading to do for later on. Uh, we're starting to feel a little bit sad. Oh, me too, mate. Me too. We're going to miss poor Michael. I think for the time being, I'll take all of the cocaine that we have. Uh, we'll leave the rest for now. We will come back to Michael at some point. I think all the ammo and everything, all of that's saving here for now. So there's no rush taking it. It's just time that we get some sleep. We wake up at 10 past 5. Let's uh, get life and living on. Now is probably as good a time of any to start reading the 
a melee weapon, uh, but just because we have a lot of different chapters that we need to get through. We are managing to catch the uh, cook show for once. In fact, we've just gone up another level, so that is level two cooking now. I think I'm just going to read every chapter of this melee book today. Just make sure we catch all the life in living shows. Spend a little bit of time with Michael as well. Okay, we've almost finished the book, and we are now catching Woodcraft as well. Oh, that's that book complete. Now, let's have another quick cigarette. I'll have a can of beer as well, because we're feeling a bit down. I guess for now, we'll leave the uh, spare engine parts that we have inside of Michael. We'll come back for them later. We never know. Maybe we can repair Michael one day. God, we're already very tired. Oh, we do have an exposure survival tape as well. Let's watch this as well. Let's uh, let's make the most of our time with Michael. And we'll start reading our guns book as well. There's only two chapters we need to read for this. God, we're already getting on edge again. So let's have another cigarette. God, we're just chain smoking at the moment. These are all of the books and everything that we've read so far. So we're a very... Uh, intellectual man these days. God, just look at all of the boosts that we've now got from all the reading. You know what, for the last hour or so, whilst we wait for the uh, next exposure survival show, I think I'm gonna do an hour of squats, you know, use up our time wisely. God, our legs are shaking a lot. Oh, and we just passed out. We didn't make it to the show. Oh my God, we didn't wake up till nine o'clock the next day. That is insane. Uh, let's have these canned sardines for breakfast. God, we're on day five and we've already killed 264 zombies. I know I've kind of cheated by killing 181 with a car but I'm counting them. Well, today's mission, we need to find ourselves a new vehicle. Poor old Michael is completely on his last legs. So let's go exploring, see what we can find. It's just a shame about Janet over there. She was a lovely vehicle, but we kind of ruined it for ourselves. Let's see, I can hotwire cars. So let's see what condition this truck is in. Uh, horrendous. Okay, we're gonna have to walk down the street then, I guess. Okay, we have managed to get inside of the truck. Oh, and it has a key. That's very nice to see. Oh, fish knocker. What's this? Now, before you destroy my new truck, friend, bring it on. Ooh, I like this fish knocker. Very nice. How are we looking? Oh my god, yes, there is fuel and everything. Delightful. Now, I think today, uh, first of all, I want to get us some clothes to wear. Just like normal, normal clothes that we're not going to sweat our way through. Uh, I then think we should go to the bar, get some alcohol, because we're uh, in need of a drink. And then we're going to explore the car parks just to see if we can find... A, uh, a new minibus, maybe? Maybe we should check out the school. That could be a good shout. Although I feel like a man dressed like this shouldn't be allowed in schools. Okay, a long sleeve t-shirt. That'll do for now. Do we have any trousers or are we, uh, we having to show off what we got? Police leather trousers. They sound a bit sweaty. Right, we've got some normal clothes now. This will do. We shouldn't sweat our way through uh, these clothes. Oh, hello. You like my new outfit? Come on, compliment me. There is another carpentry show in an hour, so I might quickly go and check out the apartments above here, uh, just so I can whack the TV on quickly. Oh fuck, I missed the stairs. <laughs> Clear, so let's get life and living on, and we'll have a little quick loot around here whilst we're here. God, there really isn't a lot. Uh, there's some canned mushroom soup, which I'll have now. I guess we'll uh, sit down in front of the TV and we'll enjoy our soup. We have learned another skill in carpentry now as well. So that is carpentry level three. I think we'll quickly fill up our canteens and then push on. Uh, we'll fill them up with some fresh toilet water. Oh, hello. How rude of you. Oh, what the fuck? Where did all of you come from? Um, right, looks like we've, uh, we're having a fight now. Oh, it's so tempting to run them over with the truck, but I really shouldn't. Oh yeah, that's a uh, skill in short blunt. And Jimbo does love blunt. Maybe we didn't have to completely destroy our vehicles to take on the zombies. Hello gang, how are we? On we go. I think maybe we'll check out the fire station and then we'll go to the bar. Oh, there are still a few more zombies. They can come follow us. Oh, fuck, hello. Uh, there's a fair few of you here. Okay. Right, can we take you all on? Surely we can. Woo, who was nervous about that? Not me. That was you guys. Right, let's check out the fire station now. I'm really disappointed there's no vehicles around the fire station. Normally there's like fire trucks and all sorts around here. Right, what you got for me in here? Ooh, some crack. Very nice. Yes, some more supplies. Still yet to find any antibiotics. Ooh, we'll have this axe to our back. Ooh, yes, they have a sledgehammer as well. Okay, we've got to take that. Uh, in fact, let me go and put the sledgehammer in the truck. There's a zombie. Hello, how are you? 
Oh my god, there's another sledgehammer. I mean, we're just gonna have to take it. And a hatchet, my god. Right, we need to very quickly dump everything in the car. Wait, why is our leg injured? We fractured our foot, what? So carrying all of those items managed to fracture our foot. Fantastic, just when this couldn't have gotten more difficult. Right, we need to go get a stick now so we can get a splint on our foot. We're gonna take a quick painkiller. Right, we need to find some trees so we can forage. Here we go. Seriously, can I not pick up these ones on the floor? Come on, I just need some twigs. I can literally see twigs on the floor and it's not counting them. Right, over to these trees now. Come on. Oh my God, some zombies have noticed us, I think. Right, enable search mode. Come on. Dude, come on. Oh shit, they've noticed us. Oh no, 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 no. Key, please keep away. Please keep away. Oh God. Any more noticed us? I don't think so. Please just find a fucking twig. That'd be lovely. Oh my God, another zombie's noticed us. We're just gonna have to stand and fight with them. Okay, we've leveled up in foraging. Surely now we're gonna find a stick. Twigs in a tree branch, let's just take those. Hopefully one of those will do for a leg splint. Oh, right, I think we're gonna rest in the uh, in the petrol station for tonight. I don't think our timing could have been much worse with this leg break as well. We didn't get the right stick that we needed. Just a quick editing note, it takes me around two days in game to realize that the reason why the leg brace isn't working is because I need ripped sheets. So do bear with me, this is quite painful to look back on. Okay, I think uh, the aim for the day is just to rest. We'll quickly read this Surgeon magazine. I can't believe we broke our leg from carrying a sledgehammer. Like, can we sleep? Yeah, let's just get some rest. Okay, how are we feeling today? We are still limping, of course. We did break our leg. Let's practice on meditating. Maybe this will make us feel better. Never tried meditating before properly in this game, so let's see if it actually uh, makes much of a difference. God, this really doesn't feel like the best place to be stuck right now. Especially considering we don't have long until the helicopter event. We're about out of food as well. Okay, it's only half an hour till the next cook show, so let's just keep relaxing. I feel like considering we're a bit peckish, this cook show is really not going to help us. Okay, let's just chill out, enjoy this cook show, try not to get too hungry. Yeah, I can see why you're getting a bit irritated. I'd be annoyed watching a cook show whilst hungry as well. You know what, I might just keep meditating. We're right near level one. Let's see if this actually makes much of a difference. There we go, we've unlocked meditation level one. I have a quick smoke as we head downstairs. Now let's try and get you some food and a twig for your leg. It's annoying, we're gonna have to take the truck everywhere we go, but this probably will just attract more zombies. Right, surely? Oh, okay, right, let me use the truck to kill these zombies. This truck breaks, we are fucked. Annoying thing is, I can literally see materials on the floor, just we're crap at foraging, so we can't pick them up. Okay, right, I've already bumped into a zombie. Okay, there's something else here. Uh, some bleach. Don't tempt me. I'm <laughs> getting close to wanting that. You know what? I might just start chopping down the trees and get it to see if that gets us the uh, the right material. All right. Yeah, that does it. Let's just start cutting the trees. There's another stick there. Is that the right one? Oh my god, I really don't know what to do. Okay, we do have some dog food. Beggars can't be choosers. Foraging's not working. Cutting down trees isn't working. I think the last resort now is just to rest. Get straight back inside. We've got a carpentry show to watch. I need to park as close to the front door as I can as well, just in case we need to uh, make a break for it. Come on, mate. We've got the carpentry show. Hurry up. God, I'm, uh, I'm starting to regret not leaving some books to read until now, because uh, there isn't really much we can do. Let's, uh, let's have a bit of sleep. Perfect. We've woken up just in time for Dean's next show, so we're going to sit on the ground. We'll just continue resting for now as well. Come on, Dean. What are you going to teach me today? Oh, he's going to teach us how to do some trapping now. Because we read a trapping book earlier, they should hopefully really boost up our skill. In fact, up to level two. We've got some time to kill now. Uh, now, we do have a shotgun on us, so I think I think I'm gonna practice our unloading and reloading. So this is gonna be very mundane. I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the day and just unload and reload our gun. One eternity later. Okay, we're up to reloading level two. God, we're feeling depressed in game and out of game after that. In fact, we'll have an antidepressant. Oh, right, are we able to just go to bed? Yeah, let's go to bed. Slept until 10 to seven and my God, we are still in pain. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. I've re <laughs> People in the comments must be going mental. I've realized, yes, the tree branches we found were fine. We just need some rip sheets as well. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, for those of you in the comments, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course we couldn't make the uh, splint because we didn't have any rip sheets. I just thought the bandage would have been fine, for God's sake. Most annoying thing is I need to go back over to where I dropped the sticks. Grab one of the tree branches. Uh, we're gonna rip your sh suit pants. There we go. Now back in the truck. I'll tell you what, whilst we're up and about, let's also, uh, refill up the truck in case we uh, need to make a break for it. 
after the helicopter event. I want to see some loving and kind messages for our old fallen friend Michael in the comments as well. I want to see some rip MJs. Send all your loving messages down below. He will be remembered because my god we have downgraded a little bit with this truck. Alright, let's get back upstairs now and finally Finally, I can put a splint on. Oh my god, I'm such a moron. There we go. We finally have a splint on our foot. Hopefully, this will help us heal a lot quicker. Would have been nice if I uh, hadn't been so stupid and sorted it straight away, but oh well. God, we just have nothing to do at the moment. I guess we'll just have another cigarette. I think for now, we're uh, we're just going to keep resting. Okay, we are managing to catch another Woodcraft episode. Uh, we're feeling a bit down, so we'll have an antidepressant and we'll have another cigarette as well. God, we are having to ration our food now as well, so I'm refraining from eating and until we're starving. Right, okay, now that Dean's gonna uh, show us some stuff on the Exposure Survival Show, we will actually eat now. Just, what can we eat? Uh, I guess we're gonna have to have this dog food, I'm afraid. Ooh, we've gone up a level of foraging. We're definitely gonna need that after earlier. We're gonna take a bath. There we go, I think we enjoyed that. Let's get ourselves off to bed. Uh, we are feeling a bit unwell, why is that? I guess the best we can do at the moment is just take a vitamin. It can't be from all the dead zombies outside, can it? Ooh. What's the show are we catching now? Is this another cook show? I wonder if this will get us to cooking level three. Yes, it has, cooking level three. Okay, we're sick. I don't understand why we're sick. It must be all the dead bodies outside. Yeah, it must be all the corpses around here. Let's just get out of here. Farewell, Michael. You will be missed. I made a little note of you here. We will remember you. Maybe one day we'll be reunited. For now, I just need to get out of this area. Yeah, we're already starting to feel a little bit better. I think I will have a quick drive around Rosewood um, just to see if there's anything that catches my eye but I think I'm about ready to move on somewhere else. Oh, hello. What is this that we see here? I really don't learn my lessons, do I? God, we're already sick again. What am I playing at? You know what? No, I'm gonna have to leave this. As much as I want that, there's gonna be plenty more out there. It's not worth the risk. Oh, there is a survivor house back there. That is very tempting. Oh, and there is a Michael Jackson costume over there. I mean, if I wasn't in such a state, I'd take the risk. Any school buses or anything around here? God, I can't get the prison bus off my mind. I really want the prison bus. I think for now, at least, it's best that we get out of it. Oh my God, there's another school bus. Oh, fuck it, fuck. It. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna have to check this out. Okay, there's only one zombie coming near us. Okay, there's a few in the house. Okay, oh fuck, okay, okay, be careful. Why is the ax only in one hand? Right, just get back into the pickup. Oh God, I hope I'm not damaging this pickup for nothing. Oh, whoa, why the fuck did we just go so fast? Oh, we're getting sick again. We can't afford to be around corpses this much. Okay, surely, surely we can take the rest of these on, right? Hop out. Oh, for fuck's sake, more are coming. Don't let this be for nothing. Right, stop. I've killed enough of you. Let me get in this school bus. Okay, yes, result. And there's a key in it. Oh my god. Right, this is now our new home. Let's have a look inside. Okay, we have found our replacement. Right, grab our stuff out the back of this. Don't break your other leg now. Right, now get in. Quick. Come on. Right, sledgehammers, drop them immediately. I can't believe it. We actually have a bus now. Let's just hope we don't die of a fever. That would suck. All right, take some vitamins. You know what? Have a cigarette as well, we've earned it. Because this mod technically spawns you to like a different part of the map when you go inside the RV, does this mean I can just go and sleep or something and not be affected by the corpses? God, we keep jumping between being sick and nauseous. I mean, as long as we don't die, I'll take it. Let's see if we can get some food out of this house quickly. We found some alcohol. We'll happily take that. I think we're going to need it. Okay, this school bus belongs to a crack den. Yeah, nothing of use that we're going to find in here. We're going to eat some chips, go fill up the bus at the gas station. And then once we've done that, we are leaving Rosewood. We are done. Right. Okay. Okay. Come on. Be quick. Be quick. Right, let's just fill it up and let's just get out of here. We're gonna leave everything that we had in Michael. We can come back for him one day. Okay, I can hear a zombie. I can hear a zombie. Please leave me alone. Is it just the one? There you are. I can hear another. All right, quickly fill it up some more. Okay, okay, we filled it up. We are getting out of Rosewood. We are done with Rosewood. I know there's still the school that we could have raided. I know that there is the prison and there's all the houses that we haven't looted, but I'm not really too bothered about that. We will come back here one day when we are feeling up to it. For now, I think we're going off to the countryside where we can relax and recover. And here we are, pretty much in the exact spot where this journey began. Well, it's been one hell of a first week. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, do please leave a like, do subscribe if you wanna see more of this content. I did ask not too long ago on the channel in terms of my videos, whether people prefer me to do these runs a week at a time, month at a time or an entire run. I won't be 
sticking to sort of weeks, months, or any sort of time frame in particular. I think I'm gonna do each episode as an area. So for example, like Rosewood, Maldra, uh, I do have a few mods like Taylorsville, and I think I'm gonna work things out like that. Maybe some episodes will be split, you know, we'll do one area across one, two, three, four episodes. I'm not too sure. But for now, these are our skills at the end of the first episode. We are currently sat on day number nine. It is just 2.30 in the morning, and we have 379 kills. We are still a very heavy boy at 103 kg, and we are still slightly queasy. So in the next episode, we are really going to need to rest up. We need to start decorating the inside of our new bus and hopefully not destroy this one straight away. But anyway, I'll thank you again for watching. I uh, hope you all have a fantastic day and goodbye.